The shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright by Brooklyn Center Police is once again raising questions of police actions and training. The police chief says a veteran officer thought she was using a taser. You hear her on body camera video shouting, taser, taser. But instead, she draws her gun and shoots right. The police, she says, it was an accident. Shelton Smith is the Dallas president of the National Black Police Officers Association. That's a very tragic situation. Um, uh, a life loss because of a mistake by an officer. Uh, that's something that we can't have, can't do that. James Hawthorne is a former Arlington Police Department assistant chief in charge of training. He says officers nationwide are specifically trained to have their tasers on the opposite side from their firearm so they don't mistake the two. Well, all times a weapon is placed, uh, a firearm is placed on, on your strong side. So we place the taser on the weak side so that you have to do a cross draw maneuver in order to uh, uh, pull the uh, taser in order to uh, use it. And so we've taken all kinds of um, steps, if you will, to minimize those kind of incidents from happening. And then there's the issue of why Wright was pulled over in the first place. Police say he was initially stopped for expired tags and the officer noticed an air freshener hanging from his mirror. Dante's family says he was pulled over because of the air freshener. That's what's called a pretext stop, which are legal but controversial. You know, you're using that stop because, uh, you know, you want to search the car or you suspect that vehicle or the person to be uh, a wanted person or person of interest. And so that's why it's called the pretext stop. The officer walked back to the patrol car, ran Wright's name and discovered a warrant. That's when police returned to Wright's car, attempted the arrest, and the officer pulled her gun instead of her taser. But, you know, it's tragic. He, he lost his life and, and it's just not worth, it. you know, I, I don't, whatever, the, whatever, misdemeanor, felony, it does not matter. Uh, we're not in the business of, as police officers, we're not in the business of, of killing people. Both say the situation should not have escalated to the point of deadly force for a minor traffic violation. And it's why there is distrust between law enforcement and the black community who fear being killed by police. In Arlington, I'm Rebecca Lopez.